Yo, what is up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. Glad you guys are here. Welcome in. Welcome back. For those of you that are new, my name is Silky Creamy and I do very niche review videos for shaving products and for skincare products. We take a deep dive, take a look at the product inside and out, up and close and personal. Um, kind of give you a really good look at the product and then we also learn from the artisan uh, what's inside and what's the inspiration behind it and uh, hopefully it'll give you a little bit more information about the product maybe give you um, some um, idea of whether or not you want to go ahead and purchase this or maybe pass on it so um, that's what I do for those of you that are returning I appreciate you so much um, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate you guys and love you guys so much um, but anyway, we're going to be doing today Strange Island. This is apparently not a new scent, but it is a relaunch of a scent for PAA. And I was one of the first 50, so I have the holographic label. Not sure if you'll be able, if you order this tonight or today, whenever you see this, if you would get this label. But regardless, um, let's take a look. So we have the official Phoenix Shaving, a Brave New World logo. And then you have this contraption here. Almost reminds me of the um, World's Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee. You had the globe. It's almost like a watchtower. But anyway, or this is some sort of maybe just a large tractor beam of some sort. I don't know. But anyway, you have the beautiful galaxy up there with the different galaxies and Milky Ways, almost in a sense. It's like it's in the evening, you got some clouds. Then you've got obviously the UFO in the background. You have the Loch Ness Monster in the front here. And the cube. So we have all that we need, everything that ties us into this brand. Beautiful brand of Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. It's a pretty cool landscape going on. Some water in the front here. Um, this almost looks like Pahoy Hoy Lava. Um, which is a very smooth rock from a lava flow. But who knows, this could be something else. It almost looks like the skin of a large leather beast or whatever some sort of outpost here but again this all ties into the uh, sci-fi uh, genre that we have come to um, know from PAA let's go ahead and take a look this is in CK6 let's take a look at our first Ooh, this is a very very creamy colored almost white beautiful pour almost um interesting so you can tell it's very fresh um this was just poured um recently some deep cratering and some ribbon uh, ribbons but the topography is not as rough as you we we've come to know from um ck6 but nevertheless quite nice quite luscious Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go take our first smell. Hmm. All right, so uh, complex scent. Not one thing is coming off. Uh, I can't pinpoint one specific scent. But it's got some musk to me. It's got some citrus. Um... Some little bit of floral in here. So it's a, I would say bright um, for sure. Not super bright, but bright. Um, but there is a, um, yeah, there's some complexity to this. I do pick up a little bit more of the musk as we um, start hitting, into, hitting um, the mid notes right now. Yeah, that's pretty much what I get. 
again off the top uh you get this like bright citrus uh floral slightly musky dries down not dries down but kind of settles down into a a musk um base it's not overly scented so scent strength i would say it's about a six um out of ten um so right in that middle range for paa yeah it's got some muskiness um it's almost got like um some sort of medicinal um vibe at the very end here all right, let's go ahead and read because um, I'm very interested to see what's inside this. Um, all right, scent profile, bergamot, sage, lavender, white musk, clary sage, copiaba, balsam. Okay, very good. I pick up most of that. I picked up the citrus, lavender, definitely the floral, and the musk. It's uh, a refreshing zing of camphorous lavender. So that is like a, a kind of... Uh, menthol lavender or even medicinal lavender musk and herbaceous spice all right holy cow strange island strange island is back due to countless emails and private messages this had to happen and so it did aside from re-releasing this classic as a seasonal scent we also grew the collection so this was part two in our ag um agarta um god why am i having a hard time saying that Agartha tri uh, Trilogy. Um, so he writes here, February 7th, 1947, Expedition Log at 0, 9, 10 hours. For the last week, we have made our way through a system of underground caves seemingly spanning across the globe. Our compass has spun itself useless, running low on supplies and down to our last carbide lamp. But such things we've seen in this dim other world lead us to question the very nature of reality. Yet we keep these creeping thoughts to ourselves. We are men of action and resource, not philosophers. 10.30 in the morning. Appears to be sunlight up ahead. Temperature has notice, noticeably risen in cavern, entered while walking. At 10.45, we have discovered a small lagoon separating us from the outside world. Um, an almost circular opening in the cavern ceiling. It was decided that Lieutenant Commander Thompson, an excellent swimmer and rock climber, be the first to swim across, scale the wall, set pittance, ropes, and scout out the surface. And then at 11.35, we find ourselves back on the surface, sun as bright as ever and burning our eyes. Can it be we are on an island? The sun seems to glitter and shimmer on what appears to be the ocean that surrounds us. Such strange devices and flora inhabit this place. Lieutenant Commander Thompson has taken a team of four men and set out to verify if we are on an island or a peninsula. The rest of us, tired and exhausted, work to set up a temporary camp. There is a strange, alluring scent, a scent that pulls us in, distracts us from our duties. My gut tells me we are not alone. And that's from Admiral Richard Byrd. And finally, they write, the electric infectious bouquet of Strange Island will activate your palate like never before. Lively, sensual, adventure, slightly uh, outside your comfort zone. Curious and stimulating. Sage, clary and white sage. White spike lavender, Brazilian copiaba balsam. A warm honey-like essence, rich and pleasant. Anchoring the scent blend together. There you have it, folks. Let's take a look at the aftershave. Lavender water. Hideon seaweed extract. Hey, absolute. I got some slight color to this. All right, let's go take a look. Let's give it a good shake here. We will probably see a orifice reducer since it is a new product. I assume we're going to get that. And it does look like we're getting that. As I struggle to take the seal off the reducer. All right, let's go ahead and smell this. Mm, yeah, so 
Douglas is a master when it comes to Musk. He there's no one who nobody does Musk better than Douglas, and I will go out there and say that. I, it's just it's, I can't find anyone who does Musk better than Douglas. It's that clear. And whenever there's Musk in the scent, it is definitely front and true um, in the aftershave, as it should be, right? Um, and that's exactly what comes out of this. It's definitely the musk is forward. It's it's musk uh, forward definitely, and um, it's a nice scent. Beautiful um, aftershave as always. I don't know what he does, man. I don't know what he does. The musk always. He just he. he uh, it's always a home run. Always a home run. Outstanding job. Great job, Douglas. Um, there you have it, folks. Strange Island. Like apparently a seasonal and they're going to see how well it does you can pick this up on paa's website at the time of recording which was august 13th and i'm not sure when this video will post but it'll be quite short or quite um um quickly within a day or two um and um yeah if you're interested to go ahead and take a look as always i don't know if you're going to get that holographic label but um at least you'll get a pretty cool set here. So um, I know they come in CK6 and Crown King as always. So hope you folks enjoyed. Um, this was Strange Island from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. As always, I appreciate you for stopping by. And let's always try to bring people up and let's, let's lift each other up. And um, hope you guys have a great week. And as always, take care of one another. Take care of yourself. Always remember that you can't take care of others if you can't take care of yourself. So always take care of yourself first, and then you can be able to be able to uh, help others. So hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you folks in the next video. Peace.